But who do you see? Well, I see me, Judy Handelman. You bear a striking resemblance to one of my other patients. Do you have any idea who I am speaking of? Nah, just between you, me, and the lamppost, people are always mistaking me as that Dustin Hoffman is Tootsie. Oh, my. Tootsie. Hmm. How are you feeling today? Oh, Doc, not too good. I got this backache, my hemorrhoids are all flared up, and I got a bad yeast infection. Uh-huh. Do you worry a lot about your health? Of course I do, Doc. Listen, I always got something wrong with me. If you always had something wrong with you, I bet you'd worry about your health, too. Are you more sensitive to pain than other people? Doc, it sounds like to me that you think that I'm imagining these aches and pains. <laughs> Do you find yourself jealous of other people's good health? Nah. Why the hell should I be jealous of someone else's good health? I'm glad they got their health. I'm thrilled to pieces. Do you have any spiritual beliefs or practices? Well, I do keep a kosher kitchen, and uh, I do like the candles and Shabbos, if you know what I'm talking about. During the last two weeks, have you kept up with your housework? Well, Doc, it's been kind of hard since you know I haven't been feeling well. But thank God that the Rebbe sent over his two sons to help out with the yard work. And of course, Sabina, she helps out, uh, you know, with the housework and the animals. Have you recently felt that people were looking at you? Well, you know, not any more than usual. I do wear a wig, you know, and sometimes I wear it, sometimes I don't. People see me with it, without it. They're confused. I don't blame them. Do you ever cross-dress or assume other identities? Hey, Doc, don't tell me that you think I look like that damn Tootsie, too. Of course not. Do the words Michael Todd Boyer mean anything to you? Hmm. Uh, Mrs. Handelman, where are you going? Uh, well, the doll showcase at the Home Shopping Network uh, starts in a couple of minutes, so uh, I didn't want to miss very it. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Well, I sure hope to see you next week, Mrs. Handelman. Nice talking to you. your name? Margaret Moynihan! That's M-A-R-G-R-E-T dash M-O-Y-I-H-A-N. Margaret Moynihan! I can't help but notice that you seem to be feeling anxious about talking with me. And I wonder if there is anything I can do, or any question I can answer, that will make it easier for you. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did have a couple of questions eaten at my brain, Dr. Coglaw. First of all, I want to know why you have such a tasteless ashtray out here on display on the table. So I take it that you dislike my ashtray. Is that because perhaps you're an animal lover? Yeah, Doc. I'm a cat nut. Just how much do you like cats? Oh, Doc, I like cats so much. I like them all shapes and sizes. It doesn't matter if it's a big fat cat or a long skinny one. I just gotta touch them. If I met a shy cat, you know, a cat that doesn't like humans, I'd wait all day until it would let me touch him, if you know what I mean. How do the cats make you feel? Oh, they make me feel so warm and fuzzy on the inside, Doc. I tell you, they're better than sex. Not that I'd try anything funny with a cat, because it just ain't right. If you know what I mean. Do you think this has become an area of concern? Only once. 
How so? You see, I took a bus to Penn Station to get to Madison Square Garden to see the cats. There I was, Margaret Moynihan, at the 35th International Cat Show. There were about 10,000 cats. I saw a bald cat. I saw a cat with no hair. I think it's called a Mexican hairless cat. I saw cat after cat after cat after cat after cat. I just went from cage to cage, acting like I was going to buy a cat so I could touch him. And then this lady screamed out, Hey, lady! Hey, lady! Yeah, you with the bob hair! that make you feel? Oh, it made me real mad. Real steamed, if you know what I mean. Because I wasn't going to do nothing wrong to Michael Todd the cat. I thought cats like fish and chips. I know I do. Well, Marge, our time is up for this week. But we may get started with this topic next week. Hey, wait a minute there, Buster. Who the hell do you think you're calling Marge? That ain't my name. I told you. My name is Margaret Moynihan. And I wear it out. You understand, Jack? Yes, Margaret. I'm quite sorry. I'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye-bye. I'm Dr. Koslow, and you must be... Hedra. Hedra Zumich, sir. Please sit down. Why, thank you, Doctor. Doc, I was wondering if you mind if I lit a cigarette before we got started. No, if it would make you more comfortable, go right ahead. Oh, yes, Doctor. I assure you, I'm always far more comfortable when I have something in my mouth. You bear a striking resemblance to a few of my other patients. Do you have any idea who I'm speaking of? No, Doctor. Why, I don't have a clue. But you probably recognize me from American Beauty magazine. I'm their featured girl this month. You see, each month American Beauty picks one beautiful and talented girl to be girl of the month. This month, I'm that girl. I'm pretty amazed myself. Congratulations, Miss Zulnick. Hedra, please call me Hedra. So, Hedra, what seems to be the problem? You mean besides my aspirations of crossing over from modeling to rock music? 